Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi's weird feeling, Taylor's delay, and Lee's vow of silence. The bold and the beautiful reveals that Taylor Hayes will confide in Lee Finnegan now that she's thrown her a major curveball. Taylor has recently disclosed that she is experiencing cardiac failure. Taylor has evidently accepted her mortality and is now seeking to live life to the utmost while she has the opportunity. Lee may provide a list of specialists due to her extensive medical network. However, Taylor has already expressed interest in consulting with a physician in Europe. Taylor may feel that she has exhausted all potential solutions and may claim that she requires assistance in alternative capacities at this time. Although Taylor said she wanted to speak doctor to doctor, this conversation may ultimately become one between two mothers and even two grandmothers. Taylor is evidently making provisions for her eventual demise. Consequently, she may request that Lee become an even more significant figure in the lives of Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, and the children. It is possible that Taylor will commend Lee for her exceptional parenting of John, Finn Finnegan and aspire to provide Steffi with the same level of maternal support after she departs. In any event, Lee will motivate Taylor to disclose her heart failure diagnosis to Steffi, Thomas Forrester, and Rich Forrester in order to provide her with the support she requires. Taylor will not disclose any information at this time. So according to BNB spoilers, she will receive Lee's pledge of silence and intend to inform her family closer to the conclusion. She will maintain the belief that Rich can persuade Taylor to remain in Los Angeles, despite her disagreement with Steffi. Taylor hasn't typically remained put for very long in the past, so it's easy to see why Steffi's concerned her mom will bolt again. Unfortunately, Taylor could abandon Steffi's life permanently if this heart failure situation is leading to her exit. Early during the week of September 23rd to 27th, Steffi will get a weird sensation that Taylor is hiding something. There's a possibility Steffi will walk in on Taylor's discussion with Lee and raise an eyebrow. Our predictions point to Steffi putting Taylor through a grilling session shortly, so we'll bring you updates on Taylor's efforts to keep her in the dark. The bold and the beautiful say Taylor will prolong the inevitable when it comes to telling Steffi the truth, so remain tuned to see how long she'll be able to keep this quiet. Liam and Hope are available for each other. The bold and the beautiful document that Liam Spencer's defense of Hope Logan reminded Steffi Forrester Finnegan of the infamous triangle. But Liam is not bound to Steffi because of John Finn Finnegan and is not with Hope. All that happened with Thomas Forrester must be revisited, right? The bold and the beautiful Liam Spencer and Hope Logan are single? That primary character would not have been written back for a return that lasted only a handful of episodes. Why has he announced his engagement to Paris Buckingham if only to flee town again? All of the above means that Liam and Hope are single and available to each other. That doesn't ensure a spark or inevitable reconciliation, but it does create the potential for them to investigate new possibilities. BNB a tale of two guys and one woman. Hope was interested in a specific form of relationship with Thomas. He was all right with it convincing himself that doing so would result in Hope agreeing to marry him. But when push came to a soapy shove, Hope turned Thomas down outright. That second gut strike convinced him that there would never be a future. Hope was emotionally upset by Thomas's subsequent engagement announcement. In effect, she rebounded into a pursuit of Finn, who correctly rejected her. The bold and the beautiful Hope Logan must refocus. Hope damaged her excellent reputation. But that didn't happen when she made multiple plays for Finn. Instead, it developed when she used Thomas. Steffi was incensed that Hope would lead Thomas on without making any promises to marry him. Hope vehemently disputed Steffi's claims while wondering if she was becoming like her mother, Brooke Logan. Now, after humiliating herself, Hope was given a frigid endorsement. Steffi approved of Hope for the future's continued existence. But she clearly stated that HFTF would terminate if Noelle's character made any other overtures for Finn. Hope received the message and so did her mother. The game now begins or ends, contingent upon Hope's ability to keep herself in check. B&B Liam Spencer is not jealous. Liam is protective of Steffi. For a long time he did not like Finn. But Finn's rescue of Steffi changed Liam's mind. Steffi's former multiple-time husband finally recognizes that Finn is a good guy who cares about her and is the correct choice in modern times. 
Finn appreciates what Liam is acknowledging and knows it's genuine. Steffi likes it because it probably means tensions between both men cease for a while or indefinitely. As hope, Liam's fresh perspective affords her an option. Whether she takes it will be interesting to observe this fall. Bill's family fix it. Finn's secret, Taylor's fate, Ridge busted. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the next two weeks are in. From September 23rd to October 4th, fans can expect Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, to attempt to get his family back together. Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, tells John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, devastating intel. This will put Finn in a moral dilemma when Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, grows suspicious. Plus, is Taylor Hayes Rebecca Budig being honest about her diagnosis? Fans can also anticipate Rich Forrester, Torsten K, to get busted. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the CBS serial opera. Taylor Hayes' fate. BMB spoilers for the week of September 23rd reveal that Taylor told Lee that she's ailing from a heart condition. Taylor said she was diagnosed by a doctor in Europe. While it could be true, if Taylor turns down Lee's suggestion of having tests done here in LA, it could also signify a lie. In any case, Taylor will insist that Steffi be kept in the shadows. Does this narrative have Eric Forrester, John McCook vibes? B&B spoilers. Lee Finnegan's intel. Over at the hospital, Lee will speak with Finn. Lee informs Finn about Taylor's diagnosis. It's not clear if Lee informs Finn the patient is Taylor, or if she states it hypothetically. Maybe Lee just says it's a woman she knows. In any event, Lee asks Finn. If it were your family member, wouldn't you want to know? Finn replies, absolutely. But he doesn't seem emotional about it at all. So, that's why I'm wondering if Lee doesn't inform Finn that she's talking about Taylor. In any event, Steffi gets worried her mother has a secret. Steffi attempts to get Taylor to open up, but gets shut down. Week of September 23, 2024. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of September 23rd reveal that Ridge informs Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, about his promise to Steffi. Brooke will presumably be supportive of Ridge trying to get Taylor to stay in town. Although Brooke will concur they've had issues in the past, she might be optimistic of a better future. That as for Steffi, she gets extremely annoyed when Finn and Hope Logan, Annika Noel, bond over an Icelandic musician. Over with Bill, he will implore Katie Logan, Heather Tom, and Will Spencer, Crew Morrow, to reunite as a family. Plus, Bridge Forrester, Ashley Jones, returns. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Next two weeks. During the week of September 30th, fans can anticipate Taylor to continue keeping her medical secret. However, Taylor could have some close calls. Over with Beatty, it's unclear what Katie will say to Bill's reunion proposition. Of course, Penelope Poppy Nozawa Romy Park isn't wholly out of the picture. Poppy might have moved out of the Spencer mansion, but she is still in love with Bill, so she could fight Katie for Bill's affections. Taylor's peace offering tied to assumed death sentence. The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers document that Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, unexpected peace offering favorably surprised Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang. She did not expect Budig's character to consent to be friends again, but that seems plausible because of current factors. Viewers later learned that Taylor is motivated by her mortality. Telling Lee Nozawa Naomi Matsuda that she is in heart failure modifies the daytime dynamic dramatically. Whether Taylor will actually die, as she believes she will, is uncertain. However, this is detergent so sustainability is always possible. It's reasonable to believe that Taylor won't perish. She is a legacy character, and Budig is a daytime veteran. So a very emotional storyline with sadness and trauma could be forthcoming, followed by a hoped-for positive outcome. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Rich Forrester in the middle. Rich adores Brooke. They are together but not wedded. So, for the present, that pairing will persist. If Taylor actually dies, Rich might marry on her deathbed. Alternatively, he and Brooke could support Taylor through her demise. But daytime followers are seasoned. They know not to presume that whatever any character says means the assumed future will prove exact. BMB spoilers, will Brooke Logan remain the winner? Taylor acknowledged openly and without being provoked that Brooke won Rich. She also said she was not back in town to make a bid for Kay's character. It seemed genuine, but viewers were still pondering if that was true. 
Later scenes with Lee revealed that Taylor's outlook is linked to her fatalistic belief that death is coming. Fans can anticipate a scenario in which Taylor's health becomes dire. She and Ridge would naturally become close during that period in the plot, and Brooke wouldn't object because the end would be presumed to be near. But then Lee, John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, or both team up to save Taylor's life. However, Ridge and Taylor's bond doesn't break. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. That's how Taylor Hayes wins. As Lee will corroborate, Taylor isn't playing a game. This isn't a ploy or a story she's telling to combat Brooke. The real life, in melodramatic terms, drama that has been set up is compelling. It represents a new approach for Boudic to work as part of her entrance. Great soaps happen when the unexpected occurs, and then wows viewers beyond what they anticipated or expected. Brooke legitimately losing Ridge to Taylor through this heart failure turn survival storyline would be worth the watch. But as fans know and will demand, it must be meticulously plotted and executed. Keeping Brooke with Ridge would maintain the status quo. Having him abandon her for Taylor would be nearly 20 years retro. Steffi spies trouble, Brooke catches Ridge and Taylor and Bill's repair mission. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for the next two weeks, September 23rd to October 4th, reveal that Lee Finnegan Naomi Matsuda will become the keeper of an enormous secret since Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, won't want her to tell anyone about her heart failure and doomed fate. During the week of September 23rd to 27th, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, will pick up on some warning signs that imply Taylor is keeping something under wraps. Although Steffi will quiz her mom, Taylor will attempt to throw her off the trail. As for Lee, she'll offer some hypothetical hints to John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, and leave him curious. Although Lee won't blab Taylor's situation, she'll get Finn to confess he'd want to know if a loved one were dying. That'll make it even harder for Lee to cover for Taylor since this plainly affects Finn and Steffi's family a great deal. Meanwhile, Rich Forrester, Torsten K., will come clean to Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, about agreeing to assist Steffi, who's desperate to keep Taylor in town. Rich plans to talk Taylor into staying permanently, so he may inquire how Brooke feels about that news. Since Brooke had a fairly nice conversation with Taylor that ended with them working toward friendship, she should be good with that. However, Brooke may still have moments of jealousy along the road. We'll see Brooke observe a close moment between Taylor and Ridge that could leave her uneasy. Back with Steffi, she'll quarrel with Hope Logan, Annika Noel, again. Hope and Steffi will rehash Taylor and Brooke's love triangle with Ridge over the years, so that'll introduce more tension. Other B&B spoilers say Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, will determine he's all in on winning Katie Logan, Heather Tom, back in rebuilding their family with Will Spencer, Crew Morrow. It appears like Katie may be more cautious and leave Will struggling to make sense of the whole situation. Next, there'll be a photo shoot for Brooke's bedroom line one that incorporates a special partnership and performance. Jockel Juliusen is an Icelandic musician who's best known for leading the band Kaleo, so expect for him to have everyone rocking out soon enough. That's especially true for Hope and Finn since they'll end up bonding as mutual admirers of Juliusen's work. Steffi will come along and spy the two of them connecting, so she won't be pleased about that. It turns out Bridget Forrester, Ashley Jones, will also return to Los Angeles as this performance gets underway, so she'll appreciate the music and support Brooke's photoshoot fun. There'll be a live stream to help generate more buzz for Brooke's bedroom, but it'll be painful for Taylor to watch Ridge and Brooke looking like a complete power couple. It may leave Taylor pondering about what might have been. During the week of September 30th to October 4th, Taylor may have some near calls when it comes to her secret. Will anyone else find out that Taylor's health is headed downhill? Bill will also scale up his efforts to repair his relationship with Katie and be the man she needs him to be. It'll be intriguing to see if Katie can open her heart again and trust Bill enough to give things another try. Of course, Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, hinted that she wasn't ready to give up on her fantasy of her own future with Bill. Could Poppy do something to undermine Katie and Bill's reunion at some point? The bold and the beautiful spoilers state the next two weeks will be packed with action so we'll pass along more plot predictions and updates on all the escalating drama. Is Taylor really getting killed off? Rebecca Budig's BNB Future Revealed The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers reveal that Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, came back to Los Angeles to reconnect with the family she left behind. Taylor already spent a large chunk of time with Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, 
and Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samory. Off screen, so now she's focusing on quality time with Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, and her children. Of course, Rich Forrester, Torsten K, will always be a huge part of Taylor's existence, so she naturally wants to be around him as well, especially considering her devastating diagnosis. Taylor confessed to Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, that she has heart failure and that she's dying. But is she really getting killed off? Rebecca Budik just joined the program in August, so it seems strange to hire her just to get rid of her. Why go to the trouble of having a high-profile Taylor recast if they were just going to give her a fatal outcome? Then again, maybe that was sort of the point. The powers that be might have wanted to wrap Taylor's narrative up for good and hired a replacement actress to get the job done. It's safe to presume Hunter Tylo and Krista Allen probably wouldn't have wanted to come back for Taylor's death arc, so Rebecca Budig might have been the solution to that problem. Many viewers are already annoyed with the show for doing another doom and gloom story like Eric Forrester, John McCook, had not too long ago. Eric received a miracle cure, but will that be the case for Taylor? The situations are a little different since the program kept things vague when it came to Eric's terminal illness. It made it much simpler for John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, to come through with a life-saving treatment out of the blue. With Taylor, they've actually named her condition by giving her heart failure. Does that indicate they're going to move forward with Taylor's demise, or will she still get a soapy save in the end? Miraculous outcomes are always possible on daytime dramas, so that's important to bear in mind. No matter how things play out, we'll bring you more predictions on Taylor's storyline and updates on any behind-the-scenes news that emerges. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say some Taylor shockers are still to come, so stay tuned. For the week beginning Monday, September 23rd. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week beginning Monday, September 13th is already proving to be one with so many twists and turns that you'll want to watch each episode at least twice in order to pay attention to everything that occurs. Keep reading below for everything you need to know. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week beginning Monday, September 23rd. According to the latest edition of Soap Opera Digest, all of the drama starts off in this fictional town of Los Angeles during the Monday, September 23rd episode. That's when Taylor visits someone in order to disclose a huge secret. Moving along for the Tuesday, September 24th episode, Steffi feels like her mother certainly wants to say something, but Taylor is not ready to reveal anything just yet. Elsewhere, Rich has a confession to make to Brooke about a pledge she made to Steffi and Taylor. By midweek and on the Wednesday, September 25th episode, Bill reaches out to Katie to speak about their future. Has he altered his mind about Poppy? Or will Katie inform him that she's not going him yet another chance? For the Thursday, September 26th episode, Steffi and Hope attempt to get the better of each other in regards to Ridge, Brooke, and Taylor. Also, Will will attempt to make sense of what's going on between his parents. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Taylor can't help but feel jealous. And rounding out the week for the Friday, September 27th episode, there's going to be a major guest star that will collaborate with Brooke's bedroom line for a photo shoot that you won't want to miss. During the photo shoot, Steffi gets upset when Finn and Hope share their admiration for JJ and his band. Also, Bridget returns home for the performance, and Taylor can't help but feel hurt when she observes Brooke and Ridge's interactions from the live stream shoot. This is going to be an episode that you won't want to miss at all. The Bold and the Beautiful airs weekdays on the CBS network. Check your local listings for times. For now, send us a line with your thoughts in our comments section below. In the meantime, come return right here for all the latest updates and spoilers on your favorite daytime television shows including The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, General Hospital and Days of Our Lives. New co-stars are a lot of people you recognize, but he had the best ever excuse for being MIA for a time. I'm off shooting a really funny film with some incredibly talented people he explained. You could all but hear the entire internet replying in unison. Who? Alas, I can't tell you who just yet, said the Emmy winner, but a number of people you recognize. I could say who, teased wife Kelly Kruger, ex Mac, young and restless. Anyway, whoever they are, I'm just blessed to be working with them, Brooks said. First week of filming down, but gotta get that Saturday workout in. Shoulder day today. Looks fairly damn camera ready to us. Brooks left bold and beautiful after 10 years in late 2023, 
but made the first of what we hope will be many guest appearances not long after. How could he remain away for good? As he said in his farewell message, on-screen dad Don Diamant Bill and sibling Scott Clifton Liam are like family to me in real life, so I'll see you soon. Brooks' IMDb page provides no hint of what his exciting new project might be. But his past credits include everything from the series Amber Brown with Grey's Anatomy Sarah Drew x April, to the sitcom Two Broke Girls to the series-turned-movie Blue Mountain State, which introduced him to his then-future missus.